Hello everybody, welcome back to another video game analysis. And today we're taking on Pokemans again. I did good with, um, <laughs> I always talk about Pokemon, so I did good to avoid it lately, but we're right back. But technically, I'm making a technicality and saying that this is about Pokemon Go. Because really, it really taken on a whole different identity than the rest of the Pokemon franchise. It is such a huge part of Pokemon, and it created a whole new fan base and culture i would go as far to say um then uh, and not more than pokemon or, or pokemon mania back in the 90s of course but it it just became a phenomenon and over the and what we're going to talk about today is it's been a whole year since the game was out and overall we've seen a decline which is natural for mobile games but there's so many reasons why this should have been different and we're going to talk about that today so in the mid-1990s, Pokemania was impossible to ignore. Pokemon was everywhere, and Pokemon still, especially now with Pokemon Go actually boosting its popularity, Pokemon is still very popular, and it was always well known. Um, even Sun and Moon had fantastic uh, sales, and a lot of people give credit to not only the high 3DS sales to, uh, to, yeah, but to Pokemon Go bringing Pokemon back into the limelight. Pokemon Go Go Mania, however, it clearly wasn't as long as uh, Pokemania was, but it was still quite the accomplishment. Um, the game was just perfect in many ways. Not only old and new fans of Pokemon would love this game, because it's living the dream, really, to an extent, but also people just loved the idea of what this game was. It was an augmented reality game. And augmented reality was something that was experimented with, like even the 3DS was doing it. But um, Pokemon Go is the one that was the one game that brought it to light, especially with all the talks about virtual reality, VR headsets, you know, coming out, AR, augmented reality, meaning uh, that you have the camera showing real life and they insert game graphics within, so it appears that a game's happening in real life. Started, you know, that was lesser known, that was lesser talked about. Pokemon, as always, is big enough for, um, of a fan base to show it off, you know, to really hit it home. It was it was a success for the basically people who just enjoyed gaming too and enjoyed new technology. Uh, many people are playing it, um, and you know, the idea of the exercise this game gives, it, 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 all ages, all types of people, everyone was playing this game, and a lot of people still are. It's a, it got extremely popular for a reason. It, and, you know, there, there's so many things to talk about this past year of the game. But overall, you can just really... You can marvel at the incredible accomplishments it's made towards such... One of the largest audiences I've ever seen. So yeah, Pokemon Go was really famous. And, you know, it made the AR game popular and more people are experimenting with this technology it probably would have been completely overlooked without pokemon go it's much like how the e-reader for the game boy advance was completely overlooked because it wasn't popular and the qr code thing didn't get uh, the recognition it did today until much later and you know nowadays you see qr codes and everything and now we can see something similar happening with a ar when it comes to new technology it always takes one thing to make it big Motion controls had the Wii, VR had the Oculus Rift, and AR had augmented reality games have Pokemon Go. But like I said, it's also being a mobile game. You know, mobile games have their lifespans; they have their challenges. It, it, it's difficult, but you know, but, but let's just. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to talk about some negativity here. Niantic, as a company, a lot of people have also said their past games they've had the same kind of, what's the word, uh, habit, I would say, of taking a long time with updates. And that's normal for any other mobile game. Like, mobile games have a, a very short lifespan compared to other games because it most mobile games serve as a distraction rather than being a experience like some video games are. And for core gamers, experience is very important in a video game. And this is a very unconventional game on top of that, so... What I what I want to get at here is it's important to recognize that it's not perfect, uh, and I I think Niantic had in my opinion I think where things started to go wrong was Niantic had more than they you know they were a small company they still are even though I think they shouldn't be they should have known 
that they should have expanded, they should have done things better, they should have done things quicker, because a mobile game is a distraction. If you, as long as you keep distracting your audience, people will keep playing. And it does help to have a big brand name to keep the fans in. And really, people who are still playing, even if they're not playing as religiously like myself anymore, uh, they still are playing because they just love the series, um, they like the game and all. They want to do the best they can. They want to catch them all, you know. that There's a reason uh, that brilliant catchphrase existed. And I'm surprised they didn't push it enough for this game, too. But yeah, you know, there's a lot there's a lot of key features that people still feel are missing. Trading people gave up on. They don't even think it's gonna happen. We think we'll never get the region Pokemon, which is a stupid idea and should have never have happened. A lot of people are upset with how the how the legendaries work. And raids isn't even something I've done yet. Um, I got in one raid ticket and I accidentally used it. Like I was like, no wait, I don't want to use it. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Because I was just checking out a gym. I was like, whoa, this is a raid? Oh, I didn't know who James Gary raids. I thought it was only a Pokestop thing. So now I can't even... Now I have to wait a billion years to find another free raid ticket to finally try out a raid, which I, I've seen them and I know what they do, but still, I would want to experience it, you know? But, you know, not, you know, I, I, know you know I know what a little negativity is going to surround this, this whole video, but it really is important to say that Niantic dropped the ball. You know... Finally, Johto came out. There's too much of a gap. And yeah, people wouldn't really be playing this game in the winter, but Pokemon Go fans, especially when the game first came out, I would expect people to be out in the middle of the snow looking for Pokemon. I, I really would. The, the lengths people went to get certain things was incredible. And, you know, overall, they well, let's just get to the next part. Before we get on to our last topic, uh, let me just make sure I'm covering the name of revealing where I live. Sorry, I like my privacy. But I have here an actual letter, which I'm not going to go too close because people are going to start investigating where I live. Hopefully my microphone is... Uh, this is awkward. Hang on. No, 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 no. You can't look. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing this like crazy. But yeah, this is an actual letter I got from the police... From our local police... Uh, um, precinct talking to us about Pokemon Go safety tips. Every house got that in the mail. That's how big this was, and that's how much. Uh, it, like, I can't go. I can go on and on talking about the amazing things that happened during Pokemon Go, both really bad and really good. Like, um, you know, all of a sudden more people are getting their exercise, and you know, all that been good. But <laughs> let's be honest, we're talking about the bad stuff here. Like, um, people got shot. I'm not even kidding. People got shot playing Pokemon Go. People have gotten arrested playing Pokemon Go. People got abducted playing... There, there's a lot of dangerous things. But because of that, that's why I wanted to show the letter. Like, it's incredible how big this game got. And it could have stayed... I, I think it could have stayed that way. And it is still big. I don't want to get people wrong. It's not like, oh, the game's dead. No one likes it anymore. Really, the biggest fans of the game stayed. Both po old Pokemon... New and old Pokemon fans and just fans of the game. But, you know, like the way we play, the frequency we play, how we play it. I thought when the summer came back, especially with Johto Pokemon coming out, everything would be back the way it was, but it wasn't. And this is just speaking for me and my experience, of course. It could be different all around. And that's what furthers my point further about this game creating a culture. It's really an amazing thing. You know, yes, obviously the game really did develop a culture as well. I've had a lot of friends. We just... I, I'm sure we never even saw each other outside of one spot that we always hung out with because they had the best spawn rates. And we just hung out and, and we never hung out outside of that. We really don't know anything about each other. We, we were just a crew of people who played Pokemon Go who saw each other a lot. And there was a culture to it. Very, we were very different. Everyone who played this game were very different. You know, and yeah, you know, fine, common traits, whatever, whatever, whatever. But the point is, the game created a culture. It's very rare for games to do that. You know, that's, I think that's really important to um, show off. The game Pokemon Go, as a, you know, it's just hard to imagine a mobile game creating such a following. Like everyone driving around the neighborhood, see, especially in the dead of night, just surrounded by all these people crowded up everywhere. We're going, what What are these people doing? Why are they jaywalking? Why are they doing dangerous things? They were, they were trying to catch some Pokemon, of course, silly. But, um... Overall, will it 
the question is, will it continue? How long can it continue? Like, every time they add something new, like the raids and the legendaries, there's little boosts. And like myself, many people tend to just play to try out something new and then it's off again, you know? And between Kanto and Johto, it became such a chore to keep up with. Like, you wanted to keep playing. You wanted the fun to continue. Everyone loved life. Everyone was outside. Everyone was just having a good time. Everyone was... Everyone, so many different people were all talking to each other, re enjoying each other's company. It, it was a really amazing thing. But, you know, things happen and complications happen. Technical problems happen. Uh, you know, like, I, don't even get me started on Pokemon Go Fest. Uh, I've heard so many horror stories about that. Like, I'm nowhere near uh, there. I, I'm glad I never showed up if I could have. But, you know, that, that that's what happens. So if anything can be said about Pokemon Go is we all, we, 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 I hope we all keep playing. And I hope eventually every Pokemon gets a chance of being caught. And unfortunately, you know, from my experience with Johto, I wasn't able to go around as much. Not many people are playing anymore, so it's harder to get different Pokemon to spawn. It was all about how many people you can get together. And, you know, that's what things like Pokemon Go Fest was for, uh, which, again, I have to say that I've heard really bad, like, nobody was able to connect. I'm talking about the one, the, the first year, as the date of this recording, you can tell, the first year of Pokemon Go, I'm sure they're going to do more, hopefully fixing the issues. Uh, no one can connect, and it's unfortunate, you know. It, it's I, I think Pokemon Go Fest is an incredible, a, a incredibly good metaphor for how Pokemon Go is throughout this year, where... A lot of people are at that fest. A lot of people want to have fun, but it just got ruined. And, you know, overall, people still enjoy the game. They still play, and when they hear someone else playing, like, maybe they'll take turns. Like, all right, you start playing I st this, and I'll start playing then. And, you know, every time you hear, oh, good Pokemon, everyone's turning it on. But, you know, them's the breaks, right? Next time, we're going to be talking about the... I'm going to be opening up a huge can of worms. Because we're going to do, a, I, I like doing the fandom video on Earthbound. I want to do that again, where we're going to talk about the Sonic the Hedgehog fan base. Um, especially with Sonic, I thought it would be appropriate since Sonic Mini is coming out soon too, but oh boy. I, I, I know I'm opening up a can of worms, so I'll, well, I'll see you guys then. If there's anything I missed, if there's anything I got wrong, if there's anything you would like to add to the conversation, please do not hesitate to leave a comment. A like and a share would be cool too. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Billy, your video game analyzer. Have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you next time.